I have often heard people say that they wish life came with instructions. It does. God gave us his word to instruct us, teach us, and help us. We had a dentist appointment today in Apex that we were supposed to be going to, and their AC went out, so they called us. As we were walking out the door to drive to Apex, they called us and canceled the appointment. And what we should be doing is schoolwork right now, but Mama needs a break. It's been a long week, so we are at the beach, and it is beautiful. So I thought it might be good to make a video because it has been a really hard week for me and for our family. And that's real life, right? Like we all go through hard seasons and hard things. And uh, when we decided to make this channel, we named it In Spite of Us because in spite of my husband and I and our struggles and our sins and the things that we have done wrong in our lives and our shortcomings and the things that we do wrong still on a daily basis and the mistakes we make God is raising these four incredible children within our home and it's just beautiful it's beautiful that he literally turns beauty from ashes and that's what he's doing in our house on a daily basis and even though it's been a hard week and um, Kip and I made some mistakes I'm just so thankful to be able to breathe and see God working in our family and in my own heart and in the hearts of my children. And I guess I just wanted to come on and make a quick video that um, kind of just kind of just explain that even even in the hardest times and even when. It feels like all hope is lost. She's always our joy. <laughs> that God is still God is still Lord of our life and that He is still in control and that He still has a plan for us in our lives and that He can redeem anything. Um, he can turn anything that seems like it is too hard to bear or too much to bear or anything that seems like there's uh, no hope or no future in and he can change that around and make it have a future and make it something beautiful and make it something full of hope. And that's exactly what he's doing in our family right now in this season and I'm just so, so thankful for that. Um, I wanted to share a few verses with you guys that have helped me and that I think will help you if you are struggling or are having a hard season in your own life. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by work, so that no one can boast. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. Psalm 78, 4. We will not hide them from their children. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and the wonders he has done. The few years that I have with them should not be spent in worry. These few years raising children should be spent in faith. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. We want to give our kids everything. 
but sometimes that gets in the way of giving them the most important thing, which is an example of Jesus in our own lives. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I thought when people looked at my children and saw who they were, that they would see my fruit, that they would see that I have honored God. But now I know that my worship is how I raise them. I can't write their story, but I can write mine. their mother more than anything. I just want to protect them. But I realized I can't always protect them, but I can't always point them to Jesus. Elizabeth Elliot once said that sometimes life is so hard that you can only do the next thing. So do the next thing and God will meet you there. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.10-18 As it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands. There is no one who seeks God. All have turned away. They have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. Their throats are open graves. Their tongues practice deceit. The poison of vipers is on their lips. Their mouths are full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Ruin and misery mark their ways, and the way of peace they do not know. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Romans 6, 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 5, 8, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 10, 9, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 13, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 5, 1, therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 8, 1, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans 8, 38, and 39, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. In spite of my own sin, God still uses me.